Hello everyone, my name is Banana Boat, and welcome to the first episode of my Minecraft 1.14 Survival Let's Play. I am so excited for this series, and I hope you guys are too. This is going to be my first YouTube Minecraft series, and uh, I'm very excited. We're going to be doing uh, fantasy-based survival stuff here, so you can expect to see pirates, or Nordic Viking, or dragon and witches type uh, building style. So I am very excited, and without further ado, let's get started. So I had already loaded up a world here, and uh, let's go. So might as well talk about what I'm going to do while this world is loading, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be focused on uh, doing automation stuff, but right away, I think if I do get uh, some spruce or something, I might be going for a uh, Nordic-type Viking village. That's probably going to be my first house. I love that style, and I've done it before in the past, but I think it's just very good for a starter base just to have, like, the cool roofs that uh, Nordics had, or Nordic Vikings did, but, okay, this is what we got. We got a desert, acacia biome, which is awesome, by the way, for caves if you ever want to do pillars on the top. Which I just found out recently. We got an oak and birch biome forest thingy. But, um, <laughs> uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, create a crafting table here. And get some tools. And let's go ahead and uh, search for uh, a place to build my first base. Now, recently I was watching a green video, and he had these awesome cave ideas. And I just realized I didn't make a sword, so I'll do that as I'm saying this. But... Yeah, he had these awesome cave ideas, and uh, I thought it was cool because he hadn't posted a building video in forever, and uh, I think he's going to get back on that, but he had these awesome cave ideas, and one was in a mesa biome, and it really used the uh, terracotta to its advantage with all the beautiful colors, and I just thought it was so creative. Sorry if you heard my dog barking in the background. She is a terrier, so... Uh, they, they can get pretty loud sometimes, so I'll just have to get lucky sometimes when she doesn't. But, yeah. I'll be back if I find a base, I guess. So, see you then. Alrighty, folks. Welcome back. I've just been looking around not too far off from spawn, which is down that way. But I've just noticed this awesome cliffside. And there's an awesome waterfall. And, uh, peaks right here. And I think it would be awesome to just ditch the whole Nordic village idea, or Nordic town, and uh, maybe terraform this a little bit, clear up some of these trees, and uh, add supports to this, and uh, build my base on the side of this cliff, kind of like hanging out a little bit. I think that would just be awesome, and it would be an awesome addition to this world. So yeah, I'll start working on it, and I'll give you an update when I come back. Alrighty, everyone. Welcome back, and uh, I've been uh, working on my house a lot, actually, and uh, I cleared out this whole entire area, well, <laughs> whole entire area as I look around and there's a bunch of trees, but, yeah, no, I cleared out a bunch of trees here, and uh, it's a bit uh, flatter, too. I terraformed it, and I pushed up the walls, and I managed to uh, get some dark oak wood, which was awesome, because uh, there's actually a forest over there, and I didn't, didn't even notice that when I was in the plains biome. I just noticed the acacia biome all the way over there, and uh, the oak forest. But uh, yeah, now I'll have to get some shears so I can get some leaves. So then I can do this cool lighting trick I will show on camera instead of using these torches. Also, I was thinking about putting uh, pillars, uh, no, beams, across from this one to that one. And then uh, I could uh, put glass going all the way down. Like beam, 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 and then glass, 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 glass. Which would be awesome, just for the back of it. Uh, I definitely need to finish these walls and uh, start mining, and then I'll be back. I just wanted to give you another quick update. And uh, there, I've run into a slight problem, and uh, that is the birch log. I thought I could use this thing for something in Minecraft, but as you can see, <laughs> yeah, something's up here, guys. Uh, I think I can save it, but at the same time... Even if I do go all the way through with it, I do think it's a bit much, guys. Hey, you, I might be able to uh, keep the a little bit of the top and a little bit of the bottom, and then um, uh, 
put dark oak uh, for lining and then window. I mean, that could work, but I have a feeling it's not going to work out fully. So, I'm going to try that, but I'll come back and we'll see. We'll see if that works. And I guess I should get to work then. I'll be back. All right, everyone. Welcome back. And I've just been on the longest mining session ever. And, uh, but before I get onto that, I just want to show you, uh, the update on the house here. So, yeah, uh, birch logs definitely didn't work out, guys. So, instead of just adding lines like I just said before, I totally removed it and put in, uh, birch, uh, planks. It still doesn't look as good as I wanted to, and it isn't done, so don't worry, guys. Uh, I will be changing it up a little bit next episode. But, yeah, no, I put in a window there. It's not in the best place, but I got it there. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it for the house for this time. But, otherwise, on the other hand, I just, uh, went on, like, an hour and a half mining session. And this is what I got. I got 13 gold ore, 5 diamonds. Uh, I didn't really get lucky with the diamonds, guys. Oh, God. I was out there for so long, and I only got five diamonds, so I made a diamond sword, but I got lapis, a lot of redstone, and guys, this isn't the most iron I've got right now. I don't just have fire for iron ingots, guys. Check this out. Boom. This is a whole stack right here, and this is 15 right here that just finished. So yeah, uh, I also got um, uh, iron armor on. Which is pretty nice, but sadly, I didn't get much diamonds. But, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I survived that. I died a couple times, but I was able to uh, go back and grab some stuff. And uh, I think I'm about to put the back of uh, the base in, and then I'm going to end the episode. I'm going to put basically everything in here. And, uh, yeah, let's make an iron pick. Just so for future mining and for now. Oh, I need some food. Oh, yeah, uh, I ran out of food while I was down there. I should have brought more food down. So I think I'll go hunting, too. But I think I'll do that tomorrow. And for now, I'll just get this beams in and the glass. And I think I'll call that an episode. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's going to be two beams, but I don't know about three. Uh, yeah, uh, so this one, uh, the first beam, I think, maybe there? Yeah, let's put it uh, there. Uh, I'm gonna manage to... Ah, I hate that one side. Oh, yeah, uh, I can do, a uh, oak wood? No, 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 dark oak wood instead of logs. That's a new thing in 1.13 that was added. Yeah, 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 there we go. Uh, it takes a bit, but I can, uh, I, I can afford it, I think. Yeah, no, six is good enough. All right. Yeah, no, I've never used this one in survival before, actually. Uh, I haven't played survival that often recently. Not even... When 1 point... Uh, after 1.12 came out, I never actually played survival for a long time. But I am keeping track of all the blocks that were added to the game, though. So... And I know how to use them. I've been watching a lot of uh, Let's Plays recently. And yeah, yeah, I've been watching some Jancy, some Green, Hermitcraft... You know, just the usual stuff. But I don't have a axe. I'll, I guess I'll just uh, mine this with my hands. I mean, I don't really need it. Sometimes you just need to get your bare knuckles and fists in here. <laughs> get the dirty work done. But, uh... Yeah, I'll take it. That's good enough. I guess I'll do that, and I'll do one more up there. I got my dirt uh, scaffolding blocks. Which, uh, just reminds me, uh, yeah, there are scaffolding blocks in 1.14, so I guess I'll have to look up that recipe. Because, uh, I saw someone using it, and it looked awesome. You, uh, it's basically like an elevator. If you shift on a scaffolding block, you go down, and if you hold the space bar, you go up. And, um, also, yeah, I'm gonna need a bit more dark oak wood, but also, uh, it is... Oh, I need to replace these with these. My mouse uh, scroll wheel is kind of off, so... Come on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no. So, uh, what was I just talking about? Um... 
Alright guys, don't worry, I just remembered. I was talking about scaffolding blocks. So yeah, uh, you can um, uh, hold it down on the bottom block, and it will just keep placing blocks up above it for uh, scaffolding. And then you go in it, and then you can go up and down, which is really cool. And I, I've never seen something in Minecraft like that before, only modded. So that's a great addition to the game, I think. Oh, did I put those off? I actually kind of like that one better, though. I think I should put this one back then. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll make, um, uh, axe. And, wow, this thing is still going. No worry. No more burn, burn knuckles and fists. And, oh, wow, it's dark. I need to, uh, go to bed. How did I not notice that? Uh, mobs, please don't spawn. Okay, I'm, go oh, God, I see a skelly back there. Okay, so let's see what this is like here. So, here. So, yeah, I guess I'll place it in here. And then this, and then this, and then this. Oh, I just went there. Okay, I need uh, one more. I need one more. Okay. So that would take four oak. Four. I keep say calling it oak, guys. It's dark oak. Why do I say this? Okay, so now I just need this. And boom. Uh, it looks like it's kind of missing something there, but... Nah, nah, it's good. I just need to <laughs> add stone, and look at this. Oh, wait, that's andesite, but no, I guess I can just put that there. Yeah, let's put that there. Alright. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is finished. Now I just need to get some sand, and then make it into glass, and then add it in. So, let's try and get some sand without ruining the environment here. Uh, oh, god. <laughs> Uh, I'll put these back. Now grab this, grab this. I'm gonna need a lot more sand, so I guess I'll just dig at the bottom of the river. Yeah. Because I don't have a... Oh, wait, yeah, we do. We have a desert over there. Uh, yeah, let's go over to the desert. I remember that from uh, when we spawned in. Uh, we never went to the desert yet. And it should be that way. I'm just gonna take 30, I guess. Uh, just, just to be on the safe side. Alrighty. There we go. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all we need. Now, let's go back. Maybe pick some flowers along the way. I love decorating my base. And yeah, I really like, uh, the new gold ingot texture. Uh, for the item. Uh, it was kind of weird at first for me, but... Now that I'm looking at it a bit more, it actually looks like a lot more like gold in real life than it would in uh, Minecraft. But sometimes that's not the best thing for Minecraft. You want to keep it very simple and uh, try not to change it up too much. Otherwise, you just ruin the algorithm because that's the good thing about Minecraft. It's been going on for 10 years now and uh, it's still it's still going, guys. I mean, it's not as popular as it used to be, but... There's still a huge community around it, so I think they just gotta keep it up, and uh, I think they'll be able to keep it flowing. Uh, but I will talk about Hytale, though, because uh, Hytale is coming out soon, or probably this summer, but uh, I, I don't know. I think it will be good, but I'll probably try it. And I'll play it for a little bit. Depends on how popular it will get. And how much people will be playing that I know. But I feel like Minecraft will always just be there. In the background. Uh, there will still be a community. And I never got rid of these leaves. But yeah, there will still be a community. And there will still be a whole lot of people that love it. So I think my glass should be done by now. Let me just go over and check after I'm done getting these leaves. And then I'm going to make some shears. And I'm going to get some bushes because I just remembered to get shears. Oh my god, that whole mining trip was to get shears, guys. And I just remembered that I need to make shears. Okay, yeah, let's make shears right now. But, oh wait, no, uh, our glass isn't done, but I might as well make shears. Okay, gold is done. Put the coal back in here. Let's uh, grab some iron. One iron. Wait, how do I make uh, shears again? Stick and iron ingot? Or is it flint and iron ingot? No, that's flint and steel. Uh, what... What am I doing here? Is it two iron? 
Guys, I haven't played in forever. <laughs> Please go easy on me. No, it's like that. Yeah, okay. Okay, I got yours, guys. I'm not a noob. Trust me. Okay. Yeah, no, I've been playing since, like, uh, 2012 or 2013. I forget. But, um, just, uh, on and off, but a lot still. So, yeah, let's, uh, get some, uh, leaves. Alright, guys, welcome back. I just finished getting my leaves and, uh, my glass is done. So, I'm gonna hide some, uh, torches underground with some bushes and then I'm gonna add the glass. So, uh, the sun's going down though, so let's go to bed. <laughs> I love how the guy just holds their tool out. Like, hey guys, I'm sleeping with an axe, like, straight up. Like, like, it's held, like, straight up. Like, I don't think that's safe, but, uh, I'll, it's Minecraft, guys. Simplicity. <laughs> Alright everybody, so I just got rid of some of these torches here, and uh, I'm gonna tell you how to uh, make these cool bush lights, is I guess I should call them, but here we go. So you can tell it's kind of dark here, but uh, it, you might not be able to notice the light as good as it will be when it's dark, but I think I should put the first one right here, just in case it gets nighttime. So what you want to do is uh, you want to dig uh, two down, and then... Uh, you can dig as many as three this way, I'm pretty sure. And then you want to place your uh, torch there. And that will... Oh yeah, dual wielding. Sorry guys. I was doing that when I was mining. Okay guys, so now you can kind of see the light seeping out a little bit. Now uh, what you want to do is the oak leaves um don't actually change the light at all. So... Which I think is awesome, cool feature. I don't think it's meant to be like a totally um, uh, a purposeful thing. Wow, the lag just happened there. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, so now it all, also the leaves uh, add an awesome aesthetic to your base. It kind of like makes it. Let's get this uh, like. It makes it very. I don't know. It just fills in your base with uh, greenery. Greenery is always good too. So. Uh, it's kind of like having flowers everywhere, like that. It uh, just adds to your base and makes it feel not empty. Like this, this is a f space filler right here, and it will always uh, be light right here now. As you can see, there's a little bit of light there, uh, like it torches there. And uh, now we'll just repeat the process. Alright guys, uh, I just finished doing the bushes. And uh, the next thing I'll do is... Uh, now that I'm done with all these bushes, which actually kind of look cool, uh, later I will probably put a path going through here. But first I need to put the glass in. So, <laughs> I need to put uh, my stuff away first. Okay. Yeah, here we go. I think maybe we should have birch right next to the beams. Like the wind beams, like one one next to them, like one line on both sides, and then have the glass in, and a door right here maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, I just need to. I guess I can just place it on the bottom of them. Uh, try and hop up here. Do I even have scuff for room blocks? Now I just use leaves. They're really easy to break, and I can get them easily now. Now that I have shears. Oh my gosh, I still left um some dirt up here from uh, placing these blocks. Why would I do that? I'm so clumsy with this stuff, guys. Here we go. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and here, here, and here. We need to get up there, though. Uh, yeah. Parkour. I'm really bad at parkour, and I just realized I'm glad that was one jump. Because it's pretty hard uh, <laughs> to not sprint when you don't have any food. Alright, let's get rid of these scaffolding blocks. Let's just see how this looks. Alright, yeah, no, that looks good. Alright, now I guess I'll just fill these in with the 31 glass, which I hope should be enough. I'm pretty sure it definitely will. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, no, that looks awesome. So let's go up here. Okay, I think that's all the glass. Now let's get down. And you can see all these. I love it because uh, it just gives that ominous effect. Kind of like, not really ominous, but uh, mystical. 
mystical effect. Okay, yeah, now that looks good. I think I'll change it up in the future. But for now, look at our base. Ah, uh, this is amazing for the first episode, guys. I'm so proud of this. We got some, we got iron armor. We got iron tools. We got our first diamonds. We got a diamond sword, gold, pretty much everything. I think next episode I will be doing a farm out here and uh, making the mine shaft look awesome. And I might, and there'll probably be a lot of mining as well, but I think that's it, folks. Alright folks, it is now nighttime and uh, the mystical light is looking awesome. I placed my bed in there and uh, we got a lot of work done today. We got the whole base done. I'm just going to put in a path next episode and a farm and then the mine shaft. And wow, we got a lot of work done today. So um, I guess that's it. So this was Banana Boat and goodbye. Thank you.